thinner is not even with like how much like stuff that like weight you put on it. Yeah. See like that one's like kind of like more skinnier and curved more than the other one. How does that work? Yeah, so if you notice the back tooth is actually not as far out as the front tooth. And the idea behind this is, let's say I took like a rotating disc like a pulley, right? And I tried to spin it really quickly and then hit it against my hand. It would just grind against my hand, right? Because it's just a circular object. But if I put a tooth on here, if I spin it, it'll smack my hand, probably really hurt my hand. We don't want to actually try that. But you kind of get the idea, right? That if you have a tooth on the outside, you know, it produces this grippy effect. Where if it's just a round circle, it, it'll just rub. So what we're trying to do is have a single tooth on the outside, and this is the only tooth that contacts the other robot. And when we're driving towards another robot, you know, let's say they're right here, we're driving towards them, the rotation comes in, the robot comes actually a little further in, we're getting way more bite contact with the other robot because we have less teeth. Whereas, if, let's say we had 20 teeth, we're not gonna get as much grip and transfer into the other, other robot. So I hope that explains that. How about you? So it's like, it gets more time to speed up than if there's like one right on the other side. So it's like one, one while the other one is like this, this, this. Yeah, that's about right. That like, there's more time in between the actual impacts so that way more bite actually hits. Like you want more contact between the tooth and your other robots, so you're actually transferring more energy into your opponent. So I hope that, I think that was your question. Cool. Question, so here, uh, is there limits on the kind of materials or weights or power? So what are the rules like? So there's a weight limit and that's pretty much it. So we'll use like aluminum here and really like heavily pocket it to make weight. Um, we'll use like magnesium, like Felix has in his hand. Like that's actually, that core is made out of magnesium to reduce weight. Uh, because we really needed the weight this year for reasons we'll get to soon. Um, you know, a lot, most of the parts are aluminum, like a pulley like this would be aluminum. The weapon bar is actually steel. It's a hardened steel, 4140. Um, this, this shaft is titanium here. It's like anything that we could, you know, certain materials we'll use to like optimize the system. Um, titanium being one of them, and yeah, all of this is to reduce weight and still create a very serious robot.